the Lord has begun to, to put a seed in the life of every single young person here. The seed of greatness. The seed to change the world. The seed that has been watered and fertilized and poured into all year long. And so, you might have thought they were just getting this crazy stuff out of their system by coming here for a year. Little did you know, it may have just got entrenched in their system. What I mean is this. That seed is a dream. You can do this thing. This thing called changing this world, this world, this thing called whether it's writing books or starting hospitals or going to be a missionary in the middle of somewhere that's never heard the gospel, whether it's starting a church or, or going into government or being a doctor that lives on the mission field, whatever the dream is, don't you dare let anybody say you can't do it. <laughs> the world is changed by people who defy the odds. Yeah, man. You defied a lot of odds by being here. People that said you'll never make it, you can never raise the money. Defied even your own odds. Maybe you thought you couldn't do it. But you know, when you've got God on your side, and you just stay faithful and just stay humble, and like, you don't even necessarily know really what you're doing, but you just go, God, I, I just love you, and I want as many people to love you as possible with my life. Good, you're in good shape. You know, Katie and I were only 25 when this ministry was born. It's not much older than most of you. There's a seed that's growing right now. Who knows what that might be? It might be to join another ministry, to come back to the and start your own. I don't know. But whatever that seed is, just go after it. I can do how many things? All I can't hear you. All Through who? Christ. Who strengthens me. You can do this thing. This thing called living for God, changing the world. You get out of here, you may not have a lot of cheerleaders. But you've got Jesus. You've got the Father, you've got the Holy Spirit, you've got at least three cheering for you, and I want those three on my side no matter what. So don't you dare let anybody tell you that you can't do it. You can do it. You just keep getting wisdom and get guidance, and uh, go for it. Don't give up. Now, as you think of these words one more time, and we refer back to what Paul said. For I am already poured out like a drink offering. Time has come for my departure. I've fought the good fight. I've finished the race. I've kept the faith. You can say this about yourself now, having graduated or getting ready to graduate moments from the Honor Academy. But could I encourage you to make part of your life goal that these are the last words that would fall off your lips before you leave this planet. This is how I live my life. I started it by pouring my life out, by fighting the good fight, by keeping the faith. And the last words off my lips, Lord, would you grace us to be those people? I fought the good fight. The fight is not just to keep your faith strong, it's to keep your faith strong so that all that God wants to do through your hands. There are people waiting for you at the other end of your dream. They're counting on the fact that you're going to keep your faith strong. You're going to fight the good fight so that they can get reached through your songs or your books or your preaching or your business deals or the laws that you pass or the books that you write. They're going to get, they're going to get touched. They're going to get one to Christ because the dream is put in your heart. It's not just about so you can have a great dream. It's because there are people at the other end of your dream that have yet to be reached. And they're counting on you to be faithful. Would you join me in a lifelong commitment of, okay, like Paul, Lord, I want to join Paul, saying, whenever the, my years are over, I fought the good fight, I finished the course. I've kept the faith. Now is the time for my departure. How many want those to be your last words? God bless you guys. Congratulations.